What's the sci-fi invention you would have wanted most on station? Oh, that's easy. Um, I, have, I have been a fan of science fiction for a long time, and my, my big talk that I give starts off with about eight minutes of science fiction history and why we are where we are today. So to answer this question, let me simply ask the audience the question of, knowing that we have been influenced with ideas to go farther away, to cross horizons, uh, Jules Verne, H.G. Wells, you know, making us go mentally in their science fiction books, which have been inspirations to Mars, to, to discover things, to go for the unknown and, and uncover things. We progress through the history of science fiction to we get to a show that is probably preeminently influential in our thinking, which would be Star Trek. And how many people, how many people have seen the original series with Captain Kirk? Okay, so then let me just ask you. When Captain Kirk steps out after he beams down onto a planet, the first thing he does is he whips out his, no, his cell phone. And, <clears throat> and he turns to Mr. Spock and goes, Mr. Spock, would you scan the environments for whatever? And Mr. Spock uses his, no, his smartphone. <laughs> so with, with that kind of setup for, for this question, what the, the space station is, is large enough, and you can lose people until the next meal, that what I really wanted was one of those little communicators that I can go, hey, Suichi, where are you? you know, we do have an intercom system, but, it, but you have to go over to the intercom system. I would much rather have a personal intercom communicator system that we could just talk to each other with. Good question.